Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're gonna make salted caramel pecan muffins using keto chow. And we'll get to baking right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So today we're going to make salted caramel pecan muffins using keto chow. Mm. Try saying that five times fast. I like all those words together. <laughs> So recently, we entered into the Keto Chow Recipe uh, Contest for the holidays. We made two different recipes. The first one we submitted was a chocolate cheese or a chocolate cream pie. That's right. And uh, if you haven't seen that video, I will leave a link for that right over my head. That one is delicious. I think that one's going to win, personally. I think it's crazy good. Now, if you are just seeing this video now, you still have time. You can go vote. I will leave a link for that down below. Now, the other recipe that we did create was eggnog cupcakes that had an eggnog cannoli crust, uh, cream on top and put inside of it. Which is awesome, but tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Right. And so we're kind of wanting something more Thanksgiving-y. Is that a word? Maybe it's a word. <laughs> we're going with it. Um, but I'm thinking this cupcake recipe is so versatile, you could use any flavor of keto chow. Right. Now, you may not be seeing this before Thanksgiving, but this is just a great cupcake for any time, but especially during the holidays. Yes. And it's really actually very simple to make. How simple is it? It is so easy that even Rachel can make it. Really? It is that easy. Oh, Are you ready so for this? Oh, that's so special, yes. Okay, so let's go over the ingredients. First thing we're gonna need is obviously some keto chow. Definitely doing something wrong if this isn't a part of it. Yeah. Now you probably can use some other protein powders, but I have not tried. I know it works with keto chow, okay? So we're gonna use obviously the salted caramel. This is the bomb.com. Okay, next we're gonna add a little bit of sweetener. Even though the keto chow does have some sweetener, we wanna up the sweetness just a little bit. Because We're Rachel. gonna use allulose, okay? I just love the way allulose works in the oven and when you're cooking. So I'm kind of shifting to that a little bit more. All right. Okay, we're gonna need some baking powder. We're going to need some coconut flour. Yay! We're going to need some almond flour, okay? We're using both kinds of flours this time. We need some eggs. Happy eggs? Yeah. Sprouts eggs. Same thing, pasteurized. We need some butter. Butter. And then finally, we need some pecans. Again, because of the title, if it's missing this or this. Not gonna work. Not gonna work. So you ready to get into this? Yes. Okay, so let's put all that stuff to, to the side and we will get started. Okay, you ready? Yes. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna start off, we're gonna take a bowl. Bowl. To the bowl, we're gonna add all our dry ingredients. So we've got one serving of keto chow. Any flavor again you want for this recipe, we're gonna use salted caramel. It smells so good. So one serving, which is one scoop or one of the individual sample packets. One cup of almond flour. Wow. We're gonna go I've got everything already separated. It just makes the recipe videos go a little bit quicker doing this. Heck yes. One tablespoon of coconut flour. Aw, look how cute. Okay. We've got a quarter of a cup of allulose. And then we've got the baking powder. And we're using two teaspoons. Now, that sounds like a lot. It has taken me a long time to learn how to work with keto chow. And every time I made a recipe video, especially like a baked good, it just came out like rubber, and what I've learned is you have to increase the baking powder. So where you would probably normally use one teaspoon of baking powder in a cupcake recipe, this one we're gonna use two. I love that we're talking about keto chai recipes and you're so calm, because usually when you're in that trial and error mode, it's like Rah! Oh my gosh, I can't tell you how much keto chow I have wasted, and I'm pretty sure there have been some words that weren't very nice coming out of my mouth I'm as like, I was throwing stuff into the garbage. I'm like, come on kids, we're going to the mall for a while. Okay, now all we're gonna do is kind of blend this around and make sure everything is well combined. 
Okay, so good and mixed? Good and mixed. Okay, ready? Next thing we're gonna add is four eggs. Now the egg, eggs need to be room temperature. So I'm gonna let you go ahead and dump that in so I don't get yelled at for helping you. I know, but I like that they're out of their shells because usually the shells are in, in the here. recipe. So four eggs and then two tablespoons of butter and again, room temperature. Okay, we're not gonna use this. I was gonna say, obviously we need a mixer. And then we're gonna just take our egg beater and you can go ahead and mix that all up. Am I allowed to say that I am so excited I didn't splatter this all over? <laughs> Okay, it looks like that's good. Okay, do you get everything off the beaters? Do you know how to get it off the beaters? Kind of put it on like that and run it up against the edge. Oh. There you go. Now the beaters are clean. Well. Pretty clean. We used to call You can my, lick them. When my grandfather would clean, we'd call it paw clean. It wasn't like really clean, but it was close enough. Okay, now one thing you're gonna notice about this batter, if you take a look at it is, uh, it's not like a regular cake batter. It's much thicker than a cake batter. Yeah. We want that, okay? Oh, this okay. is not a mistake. You know, normally cake batter, you can pour it. That's not what we're looking for. Now we're gonna take about a quarter of a cup of pecans and you're gonna fold it in. Do you remember how to fold? So it's like stirring slowly, right? Like that. There you go. You can go ahead and dump them all in and just kind of fold it in. Fold it in. <laughs> fold it in. My mom always says it's funny just watching me do stuff because left-handed. <laughs> How many left-handed cooks All are there? All I know out is there? I think you're going to knock me in the chin with your elbow. I know. I'm Can sorry. we lower our elbow, please? Oh, sorry. That's my defensive cooking elbow. Also, I'm probably not supposed to pick up the whole bowl. But I'm folding. I'm folding the laundry. Are we good? And I'm folding this. Are you good now? I think so. What do you okay, think? Okay, let me see. Does it look beautiful? Yeah, that, that looks pretty good. You did a good job folding. Okay, let's go ahead and get it off the edges. Okay. When you're a mom of three, you're an expert folder. Okay, you ready? We're gonna put this to the side. We're gonna get our cupcake tin. I like using silicone. Yeah. Silicone makes this so easy, okay? That even Rachel can clean it. Is <laughs> well, the... I like the fact that you can pop it out. I'm trying to make sure it's like good for the upper camera. Yeah. We're gonna take some spray. You really don't even have to use this with silicone. I don't normally, but we're going to do it anyway. Just and I'm just going to give it a little spray. Just That's why the... it gets everywhere. Well, that batter is pretty thick, so. Okay. So this recipe is going to make eight muffins. And I found the easiest way to actually do this. Oh, please tell me. I've got the larger size cookie scoop. I oh. think this is like two inches. I'm not quite sure, but this is a larger one. It's not the normal smaller cookie scoop. And we're gonna put one, do you want me to do, I'm gonna show you one so yes. that you know exactly how to do it, how much you want. One like kind of heaping spoonful, or I don't know what, I guess you wanna call scoop. it a spoonful, a scoop, into each one. Okay. Okay? Looks like you're making balls. <laughs> so like that. That's too much. Just a heaping scoop. Yeah, I guess we can always go back if you have too much. Except for we didn't spray that one. We sprayed these. <laughs> That's probably too much. Uh, uh, let me get some off. He even demonstrated <laughs> it. Two. Oh. That's probably too much. <laughs> Just a slight heaping spoonful. I don't understand this measurement. <laughs> I have a feeling we're gonna have to move some around. <laughs> That's perfect. All right. Okay. That's not enough. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Is that better? No, that's not enough. Okay. Even if I move it around, it's not enough. There you go. That's probably good. That's good. Okay. Let me let me move this around because you should have enough for one more, but it looks like we may even get two out of this. Okay, where's your scoop? 
That's too much. And not enough. <laughs> there you go. Put that in. Put it in one of the ones we actually sprayed. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're just going to take this. I think we're going to get actually nine. Let's see if we yeah. can get nine instead of making them all. Let's go for bigger. it. Let's do this. The ninth one doesn't even count in your carbs. No. If you can get the ninth one, it's free. Well, you're going to lower your carbs on all the other ones. There you go. Let me see your scooper. It's a super duper scooper. Yeah, this is gonna, it's gonna be a little tiny one. It's so a what super we're gonna duper do, pooper scooper. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and just kind of divide it along all the other ones. Can I have that spatula? Maybe. I'm gonna get yelled at for helping you. you know. I know, I'm sorry, but I need help, people. <laughs> okay, hold that. Okay. Go ahead. Boop. Go ahead. And honest to goodness, Joe is the nicest husband ever. <laughs> like, if people think anything otherwise. Okay. So let's just clean that off a little bit. Wait, you oh. put a little bit more in there. Oh, awesome. Look. Yeah, don't lose anything. Well, I was going to save that over here and just eat it. Yeah, you foiled my plans. Okay. You're not supposed to eat raw batter, you know. Not that I care, but. Isn't it the flour and not the egg? That's flour is actually a lot worse for you than raw egg. So, okay, you ready? Except we're using almond flour and coconut flour. It's delicious. Okay. I don't know. So what you really want to do, oh, look, I have batter on my finger. Okay, oh. you're dealing with coconut flour here. Coconut flour is absorbent. Mm -hmm. So normally what I'm going to do, let this sit for three or four minutes, though we've been kind of lollygagging around here a little bit. Right. So it's already been sitting. You're gonna let it sit for you know about five minutes. Let that coconut flour really absorb all the moisture into the oven. Twenty minutes, three hundred and fifty degrees. And we're gonna go discuss while this is cooking, like why you use the word lollygagging. <laughs> okay, it's been twenty minutes. This is what we've got. They're they came so out cute. Awesome. They're nice and golden brown. So. They all look perfect. We'll pop one out. Oh, look, that's the one you didn't spray. Yeah, and it came out. It still out. pops right out. That's why I love the silicone mold. Go silicone mold. So now if you want, you can go ahead and make our cannoli cream. And again, you can use any flavor of keto chow. I'll leave a link for that right up here or actually right down below for the rest before that. Instead, what we're going to do, we're going to top it with a little bit of whipped cream. Nice. Look at that. Beautiful. So you ready? Let's go ahead and cut that. That is a lot of whipped cream though. That doesn't make me upset. A little bit too much. We probably... No such thing. We probably... Let's grab another one and cut it so we can show them what the inside looks like. Okay. That one's a little odd shaped, but... Wow, Ooh. look at that. So take a look at that. Awesome. Nice nuts on the inside. Ready? Yes. I'm gonna cover it with whipped cream. I was gonna say, every food should be covered with whipped cream. <laughs> you ready? Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm. Wow. That came out awesome. That is good. <laughs> Do I have whipped cream on my mustache? I can't even focus on anything <sighs> except for how good this tastes. Wow. <laughs> awesome. That really came out awesome. Well, um, I actually forgot to grab the nutrition facts, so I'm gonna put them right here along the bottom of the screen for you guys. Good idea. Uh, that is the video for today. Let us know down in the comment section what other flavored keto chows you would use to make these. Chocolate toffee. Chocolate toffee. And you know what the other thing I like to do? And you, you'll actually see it in the recipe video. If you make our cannoli cream, or even if you use a whipped cream, you can take a little nozzle poke a little hole in the bottom. And put it up inside of it. And squirt it up inside. Unfortunately, it won't work with this bigger nozzle, but I have the smaller nozzles, but it actually allowed me to do that. By the way, this, if you were serious about keto and serious about whipped cream, is one of the best investments you will ever make. I will leave a link for this down below. It's called the whipping cream siphon. 
and uh, you can get them anywhere between $30 and $70, even up to $120. This one was like $60. It's a higher end one. It's got the metal tips, but you can pour your pint of whipped cream in this, add just a few drops of stevia, a couple drops of vanilla if you want. You don't need anything other than that. And it will last in here as long as the date that you had on the whipped cream. And it just makes the best whipped cream. It makes the best whipped cream and you don't have to pull out a blender. And I mean, it just, it's perfect, perfect every single time. Look at this. We'll do it one more shot. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. All you need is the whipping cream siphon and then you get the little, uh, the, the canisters for it. And it's awesome. You'll never ever use a blender again or any kind of beater or anything like that. Nope. Well, that is our video for today. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.